What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a blessed Friday. Um, I woke up this morning to five sales on eBay, so I've got to go get those packaged, and I was definitely excited to see that because you can't complain about making money while you sleep. Um, so for today's video, I have just some footage from yesterday's trip to the thrift. It was a little bit shorter, so let's hop into it. So I was wrong. It was actually six items that sold for me overnight. Let's get this all packaged. And boom, those are ready to go. Time to take them to the post office. So I actually ended up jumping into, there's a very small like church thrift shop on the way to the post office. And so I ran in there and I ended up picking up five items for 24 bucks. Um, nothing really like hyped. So no sneakers, no jerseys, no vintage, anything. But five really strong sellers that I know will definitely make me money. So I'll break that down when I get back home. So first I picked up three items by the brand Orvis and I paid between three to five dollars for each one of these and should be able to make about 20 to 30 bucks on each one. Next I picked up this flannel button down by the brand Woolrich and I just thought this print was really cool um, and this one is a size large tall which I looked up and has some really strong comps. I spent five dollars on the shirt and should be able to sell it for about twenty five dollars. So this piece was definitely my best pickup of the day. If you can see that tag, the brand is Beretta, but this is a hunting sweater zip-up jacket. And I looked up comps on this one, and they were going for anywhere between 40 to even $80. And this one cost me only five bucks. It's also a great size, it's a 2XL. So this, I should be able to make all my money back, plus a lot more. <laughs> It's good. It's your local. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm, I'm allowed to curse, right? Like, this is not no, family we friendly. Get demonetized. Uh, is this family. We, we need, need to get demonetized. <laughs> family We're gonna get demonetized. I can't get demonetized before I hit 40 subs. Oh shit. <laughs> but yo, uh, anyways, it's raining out here. It's like 80 degrees and also raining, so I'm. Like, you know, we're still gonna get the bag. We're still gonna go find some dumb shit. And... We're at Georgia Georgia Ave Thrift Store. Gonna look for some for some heat, and uh, let's step inside. Gotti, can you stop being a sad bitch? <laughs> let's go. Okay. All right, so yeah, man, time to hop into the store. I got Ao and Teo with me today, and let's find some heat. All right, square world. quick scoop on this uh, Chris Paul Hornets jersey. Fucking 20 seconds after walking in. Not bad. Right. Pittsburgh Pirates. Ooh, Five bucks. Yo, that is bigger than your entire body. Okay. Atlanta Hawks polo, what size? Uh, 4X. 4X. Hardwood classics, though. That could hey, be a good hey, one. Hey. Got this fire red <laughs> rice jersey. Got this fire red rice jersey. Oof. Resale value of like. This is kind of tough. Thousand, yeah. Dope. Bougie crew, bro, what is Dude, this? What the fuck? <laughs> wait, that's kind of fire. Oh, wait, what? Dude, Dope wait. Sport 2XL. Some dead stock Reebok 2XL, but $20. Bruh. I got some uh, XXX Tentacion merch. Yo, RIP to a real one. Only three dollars on the Jason Campbell, but it's holding on for dear life. <laughs> Boy, I can wear this. <laughs> oh it's no! Literally, it's literally. <laughs> it's fine. Yes! No way! The WNBA Mystics no jersey! I don't know who this is. Yo, the WNBA, WNBA season just started. Represent this is a cop. You guys trying to go to a Mystics game? I'd go to a Mystics I'd game. Alright, so a quick rundown of the finds thus far. 4XL Hardwood Classics Atlanta Hawks button up. It's got Hawks on the back. Super dope. We got an unbranded, unfortunately, Chris Paul Hornets jersey. Um, if this thing was like Adidas or something, it'd be a scoop. But for 10 bucks and yeah, nothing. So this is like probably going to be a drop. The WNBA jersey, um, size 2XL. I don't know if that's in like women's or what because it doesn't look that big. But this is probably a scoop for five. And then this Pirates jersey. But again, this one's like unbranded, so... Thought we had a fine with this Olympics jacket, but turns out it's just like some, some kid's bar mitzvah or something. And shout out Gotti's future employer. Alright, quick little rundown on the kids' jersey section. What do we got? Okay. Maryland, don't even know what to do. Not bad. <laughs> What's that? Ghostbusters jersey. Oh. And, uh, I'm gonna learn how to make bread. Alone. <laughs> Vintage, let's check the tag. Logo 7, game day. Yeah, that's kinda dope. Yo, is that Gucci? Gucci guy. It's like a power ring here. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the dress section. Hmm. Mom! <laughs> Alright, that's dope. This is kind of sick, actually. Vintage Yukon flag? 
How much is it? Dude. Run. <laughs> Yo, we oh got that babe. It has a built-in scar. It's babe. <laughs> it, it, like, it's like, collar is like a scar. Bro, what are you talking about, man? What y'all think of this Mickey hat? Dude, for the thumbnail. You need your last <laughs> car or whatever it is. Back, back secured. Back. Back secure, huh? Gotta get so. the bag. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't bring them anywhere. We're Fucking drive away. We're leaving this kid. I'm done. I'm done with him. Alright, so we're in this really small thrift store, but we got some good finds, so I'm gonna run through. Aaron Rodgers alternate jersey. We got a Nike performance vest. Another Nike performance vest. England Umbro jersey. Oh no. Oh. USA Nike authentic soccer jersey. Fucking hell, event staff. And then what's this team called? Bayern Munich. Yeah, there you go. FC. Oh, that's the children's. Let's go. Gonna do this. Easy. Let's do this. I do. Air Max 95s. I actually got a lot of stuff, but I didn't record that much because this kid was trying to beat me to all the steals. So we'll get the full breakdown later, but nice stop. All right, so Hogel's in a good mood because he just sold these for 80 bucks. What'd you pick them up for? 25. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Look at how excited he is to get into Crossroads. <laughs> this is fire. 1998. A little bit of Tommy Fia Mommy. Size medium. Oh, that's my size. Is that Versace? Nah. Versace, Versace, Medusa head on me like I'm Luminati. All right, so we had a crossroads. Only picked up one pair of Nike SB skate shoes. They were only 12 bucks, so these are gonna stay in the personal. So, it is currently two days after you last saw me leave off at a crossroads. And while I was editing this footage, I actually realized I picked up a bunch of really cool new items to today at the flea market that I didn't record, but I did want it to show you guys. So I'm just gonna show you those items before I end this video. So first for myself, I grabbed this Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather fight t-shirt. Um, just thought the graphic was sick. It's got Floyd versus Pacquiao on the front, and then on the back, it's got all their stats and them going at it, and this is definitely staying in the personal. Next, for only three bucks, I picked up this Kuji t-shirt, and anything Kuji with all the bright colors on it will sell really quick. Size 2X, so also a really big size, so this is definitely a good scoop. I paid up a little bit for these, but everyone knows that foam posits sell really well when they're in good condition. These are the foam posit pros. Um, there's a little bit of yellowing on the bottom, but no scuffing or any signs of major wear. I paid 30 bucks for these and should be able to sell them for easily 100. For five bucks, I grabbed this NFL t-shirt. It's got the Hall of Fame game on it. The date is 2003, so it's not really quite vintage, but it's close. And I just thought it was super dope looking, size XL. And then lastly, I just grabbed a whole bunch of Harley Davidson t-shirts for only $3 each. Some of these graphics are just really, really, really cool. We got bright colors. Um, some of these are vintage. This one's a single stitch. And this one's dated 99 as well. So overall, just a bunch of really cool Harley shirts. And Harley stuff always sells really, really quickly. So that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a really great week for me in terms of sales. I think the fact that last weekend was a Memorial Day weekend definitely helped. But um, I'm looking forward to keep putting out cool content for you guys. So thanks for checking in, and I'll see you on the next one.